I'm introducing Dev. Yes. All right. Do we, is this do we bro hug at this time or is it is this scheduled bro hug or is this off the? I gotta turn my iPad on. So I got I got the chance to see Kwame Dawes read um, just recently, and he read he read from an iPad, and I was very impressed uh, and also inspired, um, not only uh, to read from a, from an iPad but to read a poem. Um, so as you know, Susie's a poet, and as some of you know, I am not a poet, um, and so I decided to write a poem to introduce Susie, um, and it's called Hashtag Oh Susie Oh Hungi. <laughs> All right, here we go. Susie, I want the P. I want that which is hard to say. Poetry, poetry, <laughs> oh no a tree. There should be romance and nachos and lolcats and nachos and nachos and awe. And awe, do you remember that time you taught me what poetry can be? A bag of Cheetos given in the shade? an act of infinite generosity, curiously packaged in an orange bag. And when you open it, you can't close it. You can try to furl it, but it will always unfurl. OMG at how full that unfurling made me. Totes full. And yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm still hungry. Hungry like the wolf. Not like a real wolf, but like, you know, that song that those white guys sang in the 80s? Do you see now how I've been distracting myself with the pristine spandex knockoff memories of a decade not mine, all because I am hungry, hungry now? Oh, please, 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 wet me, wet me, wet me. Wet me witness you make poetry that makes and undoes and redoes and behooves a hearer, a reader, to hear, hear, and read red and black and tan the salad bowl. No, fuck it, nacho plate, state of affairs of now and laters and possible befores. Hear ye, hear ye, we are all called to order, to spontaneous and communal belly gurgling, to hungi for nachos and Cheetos and other great big O's meant to awe us. Susie, our plates are empty, sack them tortilla chips high. that I read a poem that mentioned the Hunger Games, but unfortunately, I don't know how to exist without the internet, so um, imagine that I'm reading a poem, and it, the poem I was gonna read both mentions Hunger Games and nachos, so just imagine that happening. <laughs> okay, so now we're like in the right state of mind. <laughs> um, okay, the first two poems I'm going to read are uh, based off of a conversation I was having with my friend Emily about aesthetics and wisdom lines, um, and so therefore Emily. And the first one is called Psych, I Feel Everything. Hey girls, we're all gonna die. Take a drag. Do you have the science to prove what you have to say? I met LL Cool J once and I'm pretty sure he's going to live forever. It's just not worth the risk. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I am not kidding. There's time left, friends, so walk. No, don't. There's not a top end, but we can circle for a while. I'm sure of it. I cough until I throw up, clear mucus between my fingers, drip on bare breast, and then, and then, and then, yes, I cough, cough, puke some more. Please pass on the commentary. Shit happens. Psych, I felt nothing. <laughs> Priest flock, be ready. Paint my nails blue, gold, go black, and when you're done, send a text, a reframe disease. Search out the scriptures, take a backseat to a bird funeral. It's a whole thing. 
Is there a theme here or just an ongoing evolution? I'm looking for resistance. This is for our sin. No longer a question of when, but where. By the break, a statue. We argue, we dance. Is there a difference? Speak to each other in a slow, cool, blurred coup. We have lost our blood. We are no longer bound. I wonder, when will this become irreversible? Um, this one's a little bit more along the theme of what I'm writing in workshop right now, which is about identity politics um, and pop culture. I cannot recognize the Garden of Eden. I'm writing a book for all the white feminist responses to the Miss Carter tour, and it will go, Oh, Lena and Dunham, please get up. We love you. Hey. <laughs> Hey, hey, we all have problems. I think I might have start, stopped growing. And yesterday, I noticed we've all gone fractal. I'll cook in the cold. Don't worry about how to fry the eggs. I've got electric heat left over. Keep my grocery list when I'm gone. They feel very physical to me. I lose my socks. I lose my, 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 I lose my voice. Um, and this is a newish poem, so yeah. What? Um, it's called, Fuck the Roses on the New Crown King, Bring Me the Thorns. <laughs> Listen, there's a chemistry here. It runs through my veins and hot breath to your open mouth. Well, it still does in the dreams. Listen, there's no time to start again. There's no reason to anyway. We're talking to a counselor. We're seeking professional help. There's a magic. There's a Cosmo quiz. There's something out there that will provide this thing. And when my face goes numb, the retaliation of my body, there are steps to be taken. But listen, there are an indefinite amount and we're only in number seven, so give it time. And if not time, feed it, fight with it. If we have to find eroticism in the cold redness of snow on our naked legs, let's go for a goddamn run. I can match my rhythm to yours if we can hit the concrete. A back and forth I think we can commit to, an up and down of our knees, our feet, Listen, I don't want to count stars. I want to sit on the fucking beach. I want to swim until our lungs give out and we aren't. But listen, I don't want to talk anymore. I don't care if we go deaf in a tag team match. Just show me some blood. Show me some proof. This is an unsustainable moment, but let's feel the strain, the burn, a fracture, a break clean at the wrist. I won't be satisfied until my lips stop moving. If impossible, cut out my tongue, feed it to the trees. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and this one I wrote, okay, while I was watching um, a lot of Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> and originally the title was a joke from Dick Van Dyke, but it didn't work, so um, I'm going to tell you the joke instead because it's a good joke. It's quality. Um, what's long and yellow and never rings? A banana. <laughs> all right. <laughs> It made me really happy. <laughs> Not a Dick Van Dyke joke, but actually the joke of the of the kid that plays his son. <laughs> That's why it's so amazing. Okay, so the actual title of this poem is A Ringing, A Ringing, A Silence. Dear John, cells break apart. I'm searching for beauty, hike up my skirt. Watch out for snakes. The world is made of atoms. I puke. I discovered last week there is no promised land. One Mexican girl dancing through the pet tree living room. It's a spiritual style. The bones in my body open up. This is not a saga, and it's not a one-stop shot. It's an ending without any sort of traceable start. I've decamped to Hollywood, where I can finally find the most superior ways of movement. There's an inland culture I think I can really get into if I cut my hair short enough. Um, this is the only poem I'm reading that's been published. It was published in Word Riot a while ago, uh, and it's one that Dev made a reference to <laughs> in his poem of poems. Um, it's called, Give Me a Rambling Plot Twist. Romeo, I want the D. <laughs> that was not even that hard to say. There was romance, there was romance, there was drama, etc., etc. I drip mulled wine instead of blood. All fields are unpredictable. Let's go into the arts. Um, this poem I wrote while I was in conversation with Rob, I think in some way, I don't know, it says for Rob. So at some point, Rob was an influence. Was, oh, by the way, if you guys haven't met my boyfriend, Rob, yeah. please. All right. <laughs>
please afterwards come up and say hello. Also, if you haven't met me, do the same. <laughs> okay, it's called Darling, Darling, Let's Have a Good Old Fashioned Seance. If Ted Williams is a goddamn poet, so am I. And when I die, <laughs> and when I die, freeze me beside him. In fact, put us both in the North Pole. When it melts, we float. Two people in a plaque. Here lie the rulers. Cause Ted and me, we're equal. Brittle veins, soak them in gin. One pitch, and they'll never get over the plate. We'll be unstoppable. We'll be without cause. We'll be number one fucking fantastic. All right. Okay, before my last poem of the evening, I want to say my thanks to the program, to everybody for setting this up, to Rob for making it from Ann Arbor, and to Deb for that fantastic poem. So um, thank you guys all for coming out and stuff. Okay. Uh, and this one also had an interactive element, but again, unable to exist without internet. So um, I still hope that people will interact. There's a future to be made from the static on the radio. Little lamb, who made thee? I'm asking for real now. All of humanity has gone electronic. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. <laughs> a woman stops me to read my fortune from the business cards in my wallet. 27 doctors and one ambassador. She swears she can see every moment forward. Hey, but who's my number? I read somewhere that the future can't be trusted. I feel my bones bleach. I suck on my fingers for moisture. Give me one reason not to. I dare you. So call me, maybe. A pseudo-death appears, falling asleep in the bath. In my dreams, an unnamed government is asking for my head. Then, yeah, no one steps forward. Everyone, everyone takes one, two steps back. Create new words, I'm left with string. But here's my number, so call me, maybe. To be forewarned is to be forewarned. It's hard to look right at you, baby. I begin a revolution in dance halls against the unnamed. It's all a manifesto. There are intermittent champions of force, reinvent them into voltage, and the main document has a new cause. Choose a safe place to watch. All the other boys try to chase me, but here's my number. The journey is long. Commit to music. A debut occurs. Before you came into my life, I missed you so bad. <laughs> what are they saying about us as a people? What are they saying about me? There's a way to find out, and it involves a two by four, so bring it. Play the sax loud, someone hit it without even looking back. What happens somewhere away, along the way, I've lost my hook. No one talks about the overture anymore, but I believe we can bring it back. Fuck this world, let's bring it all back. Let's make our lives into a sing, sing, sing along. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my number, so call me maybe. And all the other boys try to chase me, but here's my number, so call me maybe. Before you came into my life, I miss you so bad, I miss you so bad, I miss you so, so bad. Before you came into my life, I miss you so bad, I miss you so bad. And you should know that, so call me maybe. Yeah! <laughs>